Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. It's good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for being here and thank you for the super thanks. So today I would like to talk about, um, go a little deeper into the surrogacy. I was asked to do that. From what I get is that they had a very bad attempt with surrogates, multiple failed attempts. Archie's uh, first attempt, uh, there was apparently, I feel there, there was a miscarriage, a failed attempt, and then they had to try a second time to fit the timeline. And then with Lilibet, uh, she just out and out did not like Markle. Uh, what I get in terms of Charles, King Charles, is that if Harry survives the situation, if he's able to to get intervention and accept intervention because he's pretty stubborn right now. Uh, he would currently probably right now, he would probably turn it down uh, because he's still trying to fulfill some things for Megan, even though he's not really wanting to do it. Uh, he's still triangulated. He's still kind of like in this uh, prisoner of his own mind mentality and doing and completing what uh, Megan has set him up to do. Uh, everyone has a task to do. His task is to be the hero rebellion while she plays the victim. So he's supposed to fix that for her. That's his role. So he's trying to complete that. I think things will fall apart once all the court cases fall apart. And that's when we're going to start to see them fall apart because then she'll have no use for him because she could not save him. Hero Harry is his role. That is the assigned role. Uh, if he should make it back, King Charles from what I did in my private group yesterday, late yesterday, is that Charles is going to expect Catherine and Camilla to bring Harry back around on an emotional level by showing him a lot of emotional empathy. That does not mean trusting him or delving into private matters and letting him in on things. It's just nurturing, loving female energy that he would be expecting. Uh, to bring him back around from the horrific experience of Megan. So to tap back into his own empathy, he needs empathy from others to bring it back around because he shut that down. Uh, so that's basically what I get from King Charles. Uh, he will want them to show him love and kindness that the world still loves him, that he's lovable, that he that he's not hated, that it's there's forgiveness. So that's what I get in terms of King Charles and his expectations of the family. Uh, you know, I think uh, both women will step up to the plate uh, if he survives, that's only if, uh, because he's very capable of taking himself out and Markle's very capable of encouraging it to the point of seeing and waiting for completion. Uh, because it serves her purpose better him dead than alive. Uh, so that's where the risk is, huge risk. But today, let's do the surrogates. I just wanted to verbalize that, that that is what I got. Uh, so anyways, let's find out about more on the Archie surrogate. So she, she basically failed on the first attempt. They had to get a second one to fit the timeline, like I said. Uh, there was a miscarriage, so let's find out what is she doing. What are, what is the Archie surrogate up to? The one that succeeded, the one that succeeded at bringing him into the world, but there were problems, and he's not in their care. Um, I feel he's on the has autism or something along those lines, a learning disability, and quite well, very much could have turned him down. Uh, the one that was born, the one, the doll that was shown. So what we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. She accepts payment. Uh, she accepted some form of payment of uh, bettering her life. Uh, she was able to uh, take care of it. This is the Mother Queen. This is the Domestic Queen. This is the Mother, the Good Mother card. So she's a good mother. She took possession is what it looks like. Or she's at least mothering him. Uh, and provided that. So this is that fertile female here, the ideal partner, found the meaning of life. She felt that she found the meaning of life was to uh, be a surrogate for other people. So that was sort of her meaning in life, uh, was to do that, to help other people. But the communication at the bottom of the deck is in reverse. She became a stalemate. 
uh, I would say she did not love them. She did not want to hand over uh, with the eight in reverse is not being able to, um, no perseverance with this. Uh, she had to control the direction, the opposite away from Megan and Harry. Uh, so there was, the love was lost in this position. Things were not working out. With an eight in reverse, you're not able to manifest and make the dreams a reality. So there was a fail in the relationship. Uh, they could not regenerate. They could not control the direction. Uh, so things went badly with the eight of wands in reverse. Uh, also, there was a freedom. There was a freedom and a release and a, uh, but yet taking control, you know, facing her fears, uh, but taking control in a surrender survivor kind of energy. So I feel she felt that she survived the horrible ordeal. It is stalemate. Um, this here is just, it was poor judgment, a lot of negativity. It was, uh, you know, she needed a lot of determination to finish it, to do it. Uh, but it turned out to be a very negative experience. Uh, it was a slow, a slow energy to failure. Uh, they could not talk about it. It is the news is in reverse. So we cannot talk about this. There's no progress momentum. There's no moving forward, you know, so she kind of took control of the situation by saying, don't hold your breath. Uh, you know, this was poor judgment position, lack of uh, willpower, lack of enthusiasm, the wands down upright. There's lots of enthusiasm. Yes, let's do this. We can do this. We can overcome anything because it's an eight. No, we cannot overcome anything. So it's sort of very stalemate energy. So, you know, and needing a lot of determination to even be around them, uh, challenging, challenging energy with them. Then we have the full in reverse is the challenging uh, position. She went down the wrong road. She realized she took a risk and it failed. And it was kind of naive. She probably felt that the parents were very naive. And she also felt that it was unachievable aims uh, with, the, with the pair with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, it was a poor movement, poor change of direction. So it, it ended up being uh, giving up, giving up position. Uh, this here is negative movement, negative action. Uh, also in this path, taking a risk, it was a poor risk to take, not a good risk, negative risk and unachievable aims. It just felt like unachievable aims. It was very challenging, very challenging. She became stalemate. They were stalemates. They probably didn't show a lot of interest because they were so busy and full of themselves. I think Megan and Harry were quite the stalemates and just, they just didn't seem like they would be good parents, um, you know, with that Knight of Wands in reverse and wanting full stop, wanting full stop on this horrible path that she took, thinking that it would be good beginner's luck. She did it on free will, but it was poor judgment. So poor judgment, poor judgment, unachievable aims, realizing they were not really cut out for it. Uh, the focal point here is the death card in reverse. Uh, death card is not able to completely let go of the situation. Uh, it is the war. Go the war went on. Uh, the war went on. There was a desire to call it quits. The crisis continued. Uh, the future was sort of delayed. Inability to accept it. Not able to change the situation. Wanting to end the situation. The flow of changes were not happening. Could not change the situation. So being kind of trapped in it. And inability to say goodbye, very difficult to say goodbye. Uh, there is no renewal there. They didn't renew her with Archie to do it again. So she did it one time and one time only. And uh, couldn't, couldn't change it. She did it. She couldn't change it. And it was just, it was a major change in life, uh, but it didn't benefit her life. There was no transformation in her life and whatever she got out of it. She expected a positive experience, but it was very, very negative. No love there. Um, just a lack of lack of total. Um, with that one in reverse, there was a lot of recklessness. It was kind of reckless and dangerous uh, path to go down. She realized it didn't benefit her in any way, shape, or form. Let's get to the um, <clears throat> root. I'm going to ask the root here. The root, the root for the Archie. Mar Archie's uh, birth mother, the root, the root, the root was the ace of swords. She did it with clear intentions. 
it was very strategized. It, she thought it was a great idea. She thought it was a great idea. That's why she did it. And we have here sort of a crown royal crest. Uh, you know, she really went in with a breakthrough. She thought she was doing it with total reasoning. Honesty is also the surgery card. So Archie was taken sooner than... From what I got in the past, he was taken out of the womb sooner than what he was supposed to be. And they did that to meet the timeline. So that's the surgery card. So that would be taking him before the the the, the bun in the oven was really ready. Uh, so that surgery, that would be um, having... Um, yeah, just ha having the having the womb cut open in essence. Let's get to the past position that doesn't serve. The past position that doesn't serve, and that irritated her. That's why she she didn't like this. Like I'm stuck in the situation. I can't get out. So now they want to take the baby sooner than it's ready. These two cards in the past position doesn't serve. Yep, there was a a lawsuit here justice in reverse and she doesn't feel it was fair things just didn't feel justified knowing what w went down was kind of was wrong it was morally corrupt and wrong it's dishonesty so they lied about it so there was total dishonesty in the commitment here with the hangman so with the commitment there was dishonesty let's go into the future for archie's birth mother archie's birth mother going into the future we have here the five of wands in reverse. So there was a lot of uh, competition struggles, a lot of petty grievances. Uh, it's the card of chaos, peer pressure, drama, uh, and having to uh, have life return to normalcy. At some point in time, it's giving up the conflict and uh, the fight came to an end. There was a legal battle. Everything was, was uh, they were, they, dishonesty here. And there was a lot of struggles, competition, and having to accept this peaceful position, normalcy returned, and giving up the conflict. So the fight came to an end at some point in time. Let's get to the feelings and the situation for Archie's birth mother. So she really never did get what she really wanted here. Uh, the, the feelings is the reason why she did it, she was suffering from financial difficulty. She had a loss of a job, unemployment. She felt out in the cold uh, with nowhere to go, where to belong. So this is why she did it. She did it for fun. She did it to, she did it to benefit her life. Let's go to the next position. Wow, that really wants in. I got two of them here. So those two there is getting busted. She feels, yeah, everybody found out dropping all pretenses about the so-called happy family with the Ten of Cups. Uh, having that wish fulfillment of a total love and everything. That's a success in family, marriage, love, happy ever after. Getting busted. It was all a lie. It was all a lie providing that child. Uh, the family reunion and all of that, you know, new baby. This is the kind of can be a new baby card. But getting busted in being the... Uh, surrogate so she knows that the surrogacy was busted it was a fail with that providing externally outside of herself a child for someone else to give them that satisfaction uh to give them that growth uh total total you know happy ever after sense of permanence that sense of permanence was sort of busted uh having having dropped pretenses of it so it's almost like stealing a child taking something that's not yours and getting busted so it's not really their child next position the hopes and fears was the page of cups hoping to find out you know this here is that sensitive messages from the heart it's the surprise pregnancy card so the hope was to make it seem like megan had a surprise pregnancy the next position here is the ace of pentacles in reverse so basically it's losing that child so it's like she did not get to keep that child she did not want to hand over that child with the ace of pentacles in reverse so this is the gift of life uh and it didn't feel like such a gift working with them it was a new focus uh that they had it was a job a job position here uh it was sort of meant to sort of promote her and raise her in life because she had financial struggles so it was an opportunity the gift of life giving the opportunity of life but here it just felt like nothing but greed uh delays and setbacks a lot of unexpected issues a lot of unexpected issues happened so the seed did not come out perfect 
there was an unexpected issue in being told no. So I feel being told no, maybe they turned down the so-called Archie because seed wasn't perfect. Let's get, uh, let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles. I'll put this down so you can see everything. Let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We have here the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that's that new baby birth of love hooking up. That mother, love, that connection, that new relationship card, getting the bliss. Um, it's in reverse. I think Megan and Harry, uh, they either she had to give up the child. There was no bliss for her whatsoever. That new baby, that pentacle got dropped. Uh, I need to ask, was this the first one where it failed? This could be the first surrogate because it sure looks like it. Uh, is this the first surrogate? Is this the first surrogate? The first surrogate that lost the children. They were twins, apparently. Was this the first surrogate? Was this the first surrogate? No. Is this the second surrogate with Archie? The second one? Yes. Okay. Did she, did they decline the child? Did they decline the child? Did they decline the child? Yes. Is it because it had, um, it had some issues, some some issues with the seed. Was there issues with the baby? Yes. Did they want the baby? Did they decline the baby? Did they decline the child? Yes. Was it over developmental issues? Was it over developmental issues? Yes. Was it because the child was not perfect? Was it because the child was not perfect? Yes. Did they expect perfection? Did they expect perfection? Yes. Does a surrogate raise the child? Does a, is a surrogate raising this child? I'm getting maybe. Was a child adopted by someone else? Yes, okay. Yes, the child's adopted by someone else. Does she see this child? No, so she gave up this child, possibly to another family. Um, Megan and Harry cannot accept anything that's not perfect. They got to compete. We got here, yeah, giving up possession. Uh, Four of Pentacles is you're not, you're not my possession. Upright Four of Pentacles is you're mine, you're mine, you're mine. I'm possessing you. Not wanting the possession. Five of Pentacles is lost grief and sorrow. Eight of Pentacles is we tried and it did not work. Eight of Pentacles, it was trying to work on it, but giving up. It was poor judgment. Uh, unwilling to take it, to total poor judgment. So not wanting it, taking it, saying, no, we're not taking this. So that's how I feel about the Archie situation. Now let's get to Lilibet. Lilibucks, as I like to call her. Lilibucks. So this is why, you know, uh, they don't have it. And they've, they've mirrored, used imagery, other people's children, you name it. <clears throat> I'm going to shuffle. I need to shuffle. And I'm still on my cup of coffee. I think I one of them flipped over. I need to turn that over. Here we go. Lilibucks. Lilibucks and Maria. Her name is Maria. Born at Cottage Hospital by another woman's body. Not Markle's. Markle is nowhere near. Her name's not on the register. Nurses. Nobody could verify that Megan and Harry were actually there. There is no such thing as it. It's been looked into uh, on these channels that do deep research, not there. Did not happen through Megan's body. And could not find the legal name of Diana Lilibet Mountbatten. None of that. None of that was found, okay? That was looked into too. Lilibet, 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 Lilibet. We have here Page of Pentacles upright. So basically, it was they were planning for a future with her. Yes, they were. Page of Pentacles. So, yep, that is learning, growing, planning it, and planning for the future. So she was supposed to be part of their future. They were going to probably monetize her, too, with that pentacle there. Um, they were very dedicated to the situation. Good news coming in. They're going to build a foundation, probably in her name, charities, money. Let's profit. Let's get some money off this child, too. Uh, it was good news coming. So they thought, cool, good news. We got the good news coming. 
but we have a two of swords in reverse. With the two of swords in reverse is they had to make compromises. So it ended up being a compromise, a problem in the situation. Focal point. Focal point was the four of wands in reverse. There was no happy celebration, no reunion. No reunion. Didn't get the child. There was problems. There was no peace in the home. So there was a problem. They had to deal with the compromise in the situation. Did not want the child in the home. <clears throat> Going into the future, the devil. They didn't. She didn't want the enmeshment with the devil pair. Didn't like the pair. Saw that they were all about materialism and gain and dark, uh, dark enmeshment with drugs, alcohol. Needed to pull the child out of the unhappy home work environment. The hidden energy is the tower. It came down to a complete crashing end. Unable to build. Unlikely to ever rebuild. Going from the past position that no longer serves was Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, she cut them out. Sorry, you're not getting this kid. You're not having this kid due to Markle being a very cold, calculated, nasty woman. Next position, we have here King of Cups in reverse. Realizing there was no empathy or love within the home or understanding of human condition. Not being a nurturing, loving environment. And it would have been nothing but emotional manipulation. The outside influences, the star in reverse. She realized that they were just out for attention, is attention, is attention, going to turn the child into a monetary gain, not wanting that child to be used as a, as a star, a celebrity, uh, turning their, her back on it, knowing that it was for material gain, it was for material gains for this child, that she was going to monetize this child uh, as the next Diana and not wanting that situation, not wanting that child to become a star based on materialism and saying no to it. So trying to dim out that uh, that light there. And basically, uh, hope became dashed at that point in time. Uh, there was an out of an alignment there. Uh, Ill at ease in the situation. Did not like the fact they were going to monetize her and turn her into the next Diana. Uh, next position here I have here is the Three of Cups. And they were going to do it with support, uh, with through friendships, uh, through the connections. And that did not sit well. Final outcome here, it was a sacrifice uh, with the hangman. She had to take a new perspective with the hangman. She had to um, refrain from taking actions. So she refrained from taking actions. She felt ashamed, victim, and powerless. It became a maybe situation. Maybe. So that's where I think she went in to this unhappy home and that's where CPS got called because she had it's a maybe position. She she had to accept the lesson and the consequences, but I feel ashamed. I feel horrible about it. It's a maybe. Maybe I need to surrender and let go, but it's still a maybe. Maybe with the chariot, moving forward with the goals, with the relationship with Megan and Harry and the institution and turning this child into Diana 2.0. She realized that they were really about trying to push forward here. And the end game was for her to be a celebrity and get the connections and get the celebration of this next Diana through the royal family, through advice. I feel she got herself some, some advice here with the Hierophant, and she realized that this child would have to honor the traditions and change. There was a change of direction, though. There was a change of directions within the royal family here with Meghan and Harry's behavior, and so this change of direction in terms of establishing rules and conditions here uh, she changed her direction. She was able, it was a maybe, I'm changing my directions about this approval here, the expectations and the ceremony of this child and realizing there was too much uh, dictator energy, not wanting to hand over and have this child become a royal member of the family, the emperor in reverse. So that's not wanting her to be part of the traditions here and realizing that Megan and Harry were just so unfulfilled, such an unhappy home built on quicksand. Their businesses were built on quicksand. They weren't very legitimate and nothing but drugs, alcohol. I don't want my child in this institution of the royal family. I'm changing my mind here. I'm changing my mind. I was a maybe position and I changed my mind. They're not getting this child. Temperance, so avoiding extremes, 
and dropping the ball on the situation, realizing it was not worth juggling. Uh, the two of pentacles in reverse is getting a small, a small amount, a small benefit in the situation and basically realizing also could not stay afloat, could not stay afloat. There was, there was just such a juggle and struggle, dropping the juggle and struggle and trying to maintain calm, cool and collectedness. Uh, you know, realizing you can't control other people. You can only control yourself, taking the middle ground, carrying on. Uh, trying to keep life in balance and just dropping the situation. Uh, basically, too many irons in the fire. Too many irons in the fire with Megan and Harry and just trying to stay calm. And then we have here realizing that they're mentally sick, that uh, everything came out. And then the truth came out about it, the situation because the moon in reverse is all the secrets coming out. Also realizing that everything is a smoke and mirrors and that created a lot of confusion in the public. There was an unforeseen turn of events that did not pan out to the benefit of Megan and Harry or her, and it was it's a coping position, and the truth is out. It's the truth is out, the truth is out, the truth is out. They're nothing but smoke and mirrors and fantasy and illusion, making it look like they were growing their family tree, growing their family tree and getting cut out, getting her eventually cut out. But the truth is out about Lillibux, that she was going to be monetized. She was going to be monetized here. And then we have here in front of the world, it came to a positive completion here. Uh, and it was a spiritual wake up call. Uh, and now she can move and travel, do what she wants. It's come full cycle. Uh, it was a completion of a major life event, major life uh, situation. Uh, and you know, it was, she completed the goal for them, but it just went poorly. She completed the goal. So, but not, not happening. It became a huge burden, a burden of thievery here, uh, shady energy, uh, duper's delight, uh, burden. Uh, they, she just saw them as nothing but heavily burdened and liars. They're just public liars in front of the whole world, painting themselves as these empathetic individuals uh, who, who think they're going to conquer the world in essence with that dictator energy of the emperor in reverse. Uh, but really, you know, she was burdened by their energy being total liars of acting like that. They're just so holy than now when really they're dictators, uh, who are within the Royal family and no inspiration here. Absolutely no inspiration. She wasn't inspired by them at all. Uh, the peace was in reverse, uh, no peace in the situation. Just too much drugs, too much destruction here. Always claiming everybody's out to get them, not likely to rebuild. Just compromises, cutting out, um, not wanting them to have it. So that's how I see that. That is how I see that. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't think they have either one of them. Both of them had a very failed attempt. How are they feeling about that now? How's Megan and Harry feel? How do they truly feel about not getting them, having it fail, the maybe position of her testing out with them, having to turn them over with Lilibet. Lilibet, they did have to turn over for a brief time, and that's when CPS was called. So how, how does Megan and Harry truly feel about not having children? How does Megan and Harry feel about not truly having children? How do they truly feel about it? I know Megan doesn't care. But how do they feel about the shame, the shame, the disgrace? That's the angle I'm going for. How do they feel about the shame and disgrace? How do they feel about the shame and disgrace of the situation? How do they feel about the shame and disgrace? I'm just going to pull three cards here. There we go. So we have Empress in reverse. Megan cannot carry it. She's barren. Nope, they weren't mine. I didn't carry it. Disinterested, broke up, two of cups, didn't get them. So uh, we tried. There is no collaboration. There's no affection and romance here going on. And giving up with the seven of wands in reverse. So basically with the seven of wands in reverse is cracking under the pressure. Markle's cracking under the pressure that everybody knows that she's barren and she didn't birth those children. And she truly was never uh, interested. She never truly wanted that. That two's in reverse. So there was a lot of disharmony, imbalances, opposition, and breaking ties. She broke ties. They broke ties with Megan because she was very much uh, a very defensive individual. Uh, she always tried to stand her ground. 
uh, honoring the goal, you better hand them over, uh, being tested, uh, courage against bullies. Megan always claims bullies, 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 but really Megan has a lot of struggles on a personal level. She's unfit for the job and the task of taking care of any human being, and she's very barren. She doesn't have the nurturing energy. Um, she cannot give birth. She does not have the divine feminine energy. She's not the ideal mother. She's not the ideal mentor. She is more of a domestic um, abuser because upright, you're a, you're a good you're a good energy, but this is a more of an abusive position. There's no growth of love. Upright, this is growth of love. No growth of love. No growth of love. She cannot teach life lessons. Upright, you teach life lessons. Markle's all about self-care, fulfilling her own cup. She's got stunted growth. She's infertile. She's barren. She cannot create. Uh, she has issues with her own mother, so she's got mother issues. Uh, she's very, very defensive, but she cannot defend herself. And she just she cannot defend herself over not having empathy. She cannot defend herself over having poor dualities and always having disharmony and imbalances and opposition, breaking ties with everyone. So she feared Markle would break ties. This child situation relationship isn't going to work out in the long haul, especially when a divorce comes. Markle does not have interest in raising children, period. She will give up any child she has in order to fill her own cup. Uh, not, not capable, totally incapable of being a mother. So I'm going to calculate this. This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In reverse. It's 12 in reverse. 12 in reverse comes to 3 of spades, scourge. So Markle is the scourge. She's the snake. She's the scourge. She's the snake woman you cannot trust. That is, that is 3 of swords in reverse. So needing to recover after the loss. Physical healing. They had to heal their bodies. And there were some, some apologies that went down. Apologies probably to keep their silence, keep them in line. Uh, so there was heartache, grief, uh, feeling vengeance, working against you. There was this triangulation of ongoing issues and they work against you. So she felt Markle was a complete scourge, dark person. A scourge is like a devil woman, okay? She's like a devil person who causes nothing but heartbreak. So it was a heartbreak and grief all the way around. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.